we're ready to go into the kitchen with executive chef of La Mar, Juan. He's gonna show us some different dishes and we're gonna go and prepare some stuff with him. Vamos. We're gonna prepare a ceviche using the medo that just arrived to today from the north of Peru. Fresh fish, that's the key to a ceviche. Conchas negras, those are black scallops, black shells. ¿De dónde vienen las conchas negras? Ajá. Esas no se encuentran en cualquier parte del mundo, solo en Perú. Solo en Perú puedes encontrar en otro mundo, pero no va a ser igual que Perú. No. This is the very unique Peruvian concha negra. The black scallop. It's incredible. Es un langostino. Look at the size of that. Es uno a ver, levanta. Look. 80 gramos. They're like 180 grams each. Look at the size of that. That is huge. Look at that. Langosta, it ¿sí? looks like a lobster, but it isn't. ¿Eh? Sí, parece langosta. Oh, the ¿Eh? sea urchin, the uni. Los erizos. Sí. Los erizos. Los erizos vivas eh, que... They're alive. No, mira. Fresh. Fresh. Look, Fresh, they're fresh. alive. Yeah, mira. Ahorita igualito van a preparar el ceviche también eso. He's also going to make a, an uni ceviche. Buenísimo. So here's the famous Peruvian camarón. It's... It's unlike anything. It's not a lobster, it's not a prawn, it's not a langoustine, it's its own species. It kind of looks like a mini lobster and it comes from the rivers in Arequipa. Look at, he's gonna show us, look at that. So it's like a, like a lobster mixed with a prawn. Look at the, at the size. So that's the famous Peruvian camarón. Wow. ¿Qué es eso? Son los pez diablos. ¡Wow! Es el pez de, diablo. De, 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 de conocen The devil de. fish. Es un pez de roca, es un pez diablo que conocen mucho acá. Es como pez un diablo, pero es un pez roca. También como le, le dicen como pez roca. Rock it's a rockfish. Like a rockfish. He says it's a, it's a no. delicacy. The flavor is incredible. He's going to make this Nikkei style. Yeah. Perfecto. No, ¿Con yeah. qué? ¿Atrapado con, con qué? Con. Oh, so it's a spear, claro. spear fish. They've, they've, that is mira, not fish. Look how fresh. Como, como está. Look how fresh it is. Sí, porque hay, hay todo, sangre, ¿no? Ahí. Mira, como está todo fresca, no, it's no, all fresh. No. That's how you can tell it's fresh fish. Es He's bien, incredibly no. happy with that fish. It's so fresh. And it's a, a harpoon. It's been harpoon fished, spear fished. Mira, mira. Whoa, that's the famous lenguado. A fisherman has just brought that today from Huacho. Look how fresh that is. That's the famous lenguado. We use that a lot for ceviche. The famous lenguado. Wow, they're so big. Look at that. Fresh. As fresh as you can get. That's incredible. It gets a bit firmer when you wash it in water. Yeah, incredible. At the ceviche bar here, this is a privilege to be here. That's amazing. Wow, look at that, that texture. Bien sabroso, sí. No necesita nada. You don't need anything. 
Mm, so fresh. Primero para sazonar el pescado para que salga, uh, como se llama, bien rico, sabroso, hay que colocar primero sal. You have to add salt yeah. first. A lot of salt, it's gonna absorb, va a absorber un montón de la sal. Sí, sal tiene que pegarse primero. So the salt is the first thing you add to a ceviche. That's gonna start curing the ceviche and it's gonna help with the flavor. Ajo, garlic. Tenemos un poco de aquí uh, licuado la vena de yeah. ají limo. Yeah. Yeah. The ají limo, ají limo chili. Ají limo. Culantro. Coriander. A bit more salt he's adding there. Ya, acá es un porción de ceviche que vamos a agregar el consumo tres limones. Three limes we're gonna add because it's a small ceviche. Para bajar la temperatura tenemos que ponerle dos o dos cubes. Two, two ice cubes to make it nice and cool. Leche tigre. Leche de tigre, la tiger's milk. Está preparado de huevo licuado de pescado, apio, cebolla. So there's fish, celery, onion. Caldo de pescado, limón y sal. Lime and salt. That typical leche de tigre, that tiger's milk. They've already got it prepared, so now they're gonna add that. Wow, look, it looks like it's milky. The fish is already changing. Um, he's gonna try some. See, he always has to adapt. As Gaston said, there's not one recipe. Every ceviche is different. A ver. Mm, perfect. That is perfection. Wow. Increíble. Increíble. It's got a good kick. Wow, that ceviche is perfection. It's got the perfect balance of salt, acidity, spice. It's that, that ají limo, that chili is really lingering there, but it's not too hot that it overpowers. And the sweet potato has that sweetness to counteract that spiciness together with the crispy cancha and that beautiful Peruvian corn, which is almost milky in texture. This is an incredible ceviche. Wow, Juan, ¿qué tenemos acá? Tenemos un manjar de conchas negras que 
es un ceviche pollo negras. ¿Y qué es esto acá? Este es el ceviche erizo que ya hicimos. Oh, wow, the uni ceviche. This looks beautiful, Juan. Thank you. Sí. Gracias, Juan. Gracias. That's the best sea urchin I've had. That uni, it just melts in your mouth. It's so refreshing in flavor. It's so creamy. That's absolutely delicious. This is a famous ceviche with the conchas negras, that black scallops. Let's try it. Wow, look at that color. Look at the color of the conchas. It's not coming from the a sauce or anything. It's actually the color that the scallop releases. Let's try it. The flavor is really nice. It's a strong seafood flavor. And the, the conchas negras, the black scallop, it's got a really nice bite to it. A really, you know, clean seafood flavor. It's a really clean seafood flavor throughout my entire palate. And the sauce that it comes with has a lot of onion. It has chili. It has coriander, garlic, this, the crispy Peruvian cancha. And you, you know, there's a lot of onion here, but the onion is really nice and sweet. It's not um, bitter at all. It's a perfect mouthful. Yeah. So he's he's salting the camarones. Olive oil. That's it for now. Wow, wow. A smoky flavor, a smoky corn flavor. That's the whole reason why they're using the, the corn husk to give it a beautiful, beautiful flavor. This is a salsa enchichada. This is a salsa enchichada. Chicha de jora. Oh. We've got chicha de jora, which is that um, corn beer from the Andes. With, we've got the ají limo, the yellow chili in this sauce with the camarones. A ver, acá. The ají limo, the ají limo, and some coriander, as always. Wow, se ve espectacular. Se ve increíble. That, that's a masterpiece. Look at that masterpiece.
to get all that sauce that he made with a chicha de jora, which is the Peruvian fermented corn beer, that chicha de jora. He used some ají limo, some yellow chili in that sauce. Wow, that camarón is so tender. It's slightly sweet. It's got a beautiful smoky flavor. It's a delicacy, it's so tender. It's cooked to perfection. It just melts in your mouth. And that sauce, the chicha de jora, adds a really nice punch. You know, that fermented corn beer, delicious with a yellow chili. It's not too spicy. It's actually the perfect spiciness. And just that camarón flesh is so sweet in itself. And you have that charred corn husk as well. Wow, this is 10 out of 10. Wow! Wow, gracias Willy, thank you. This is the Diablo fish, that devil fish that we got shown inside and they've served it Nikkei style with a Nikkei style sauce. and it's been fried so it's got a really nice crispy layer and I love the Nikkei sauce that sauce it's slightly sweet it's got a bit of tamarind and I love how you they serve it whole it's so impressive and look how the chunks the chunks of fish they're already cut for you it just falls apart literally it's so incredibly tender and moist and the flavor in that fish is spectacular. Wow. With a bit of rice. I really like that nice crispy layer outside. The sauce is really nice and sweet. It's not spicy at all. And they finish it off with a bit of a spring onion. And look, they've got a bok choy. A bok choy as well. Ah, this is a dish to impress. La Mar is one of my favorite restaurants in Peru. Thanks so much to Gastón Acurio and Chef Juan López for an amazing experience and sharing their knowledge with us. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon with some more of Peru.